Okay, my linear rail systems. Um, go over them real quick. Try to go do a walk through how to put them in. Just cram a bunch of information in here real quick. So this is the Y. Um, two nuts, obviously, pop them in there. These are simple, self-explanatory. Uh, you can't screw these up. These just work so well. Um, the hot end. So all these, both of the systems, they'll take the MGM, MGN9 linear rail system. The, this hot end takes two C's. The Y's can take an H or a C. You're better off using an H. The H is the longer one. Um, I make two separate brackets for the Y. Here, you don't have the space for the H. You have to use a C. Um, Again, put your three nuts in. Um, it prints pretty much, it prints like this. It has supports. Um, this part will have, you see that part, um, and it will have the ugliness of supports. It's unfortunate. Um, the plate screws on here. The plate attaches through the initial, the original three holes uh, for the wheels. Um, blah blah blah. All right, moving right along. So, take this off to mount this system. Take this off, take your belt off, take four wheels off. Up underneath here, there's one, there's, there's a screw that goes into your 2020. Um, unscrew it, take the washer off, screw it back in, give me a little more room. Um, so from there. Uh, basically, put your brackets on. Use the little tool that I have to line them up. The tools in the download. Um, I'd say at least five of the T nuts. The hardware is listed. Everything you need in hardware. I'm not going to talk much about hardware. Um, so, put one side on. Get it screwed together. Put your belt on. All right. Met get a tape measure. Measure from here to here come over here what you need to do is you need to get this you need to pull this tight around that pulley and hold this belt with your hand and hold this grab the belt hold this tight um, or you don't like just pull it kind of tight as you measure with one hand and then hold your tape measure up and you need to get basically on the same tooth here so your measurement from here to here is the same on both sides then you'd be on the right tooth. Um, then just try to keep it on that tooth, get it back on, and uh, get your pulley back in place. The uh, this pulley's on my website. This is a system. I like this little system. Can't remember the guy's name that made this, but a little bit of a longer screw, and you can just tie it right into the rail. It works good. He has this for the front here, and uh, I'm gonna build that before too long. Um, I just thought. I would really like, I would sacrifice this being a little bit beefier to have this interlock in top and bottom so I didn't have to have these screws. There's not a ridiculous amount of force and you could have a good interlock right there and uh, it would, you could make it tight. It's tiny printing, do it over and over again until you get a nice tight fit and uh, bang. So I might do that. Moving right along. So. Basically on this, you're going to put your rails on. You're going to see the offset here a little bit. Your switch can stay in the original place. Um, this is extended out to hit it. The actual one for download, this is mine. The prototype, I mean, it's ridiculous. It does not rub it. I don't know how. Um, so, also the tolerances on this. I have a, my things weren't lubed. So, I lubed them up with some, um, just some water-based lube I had. I have some really good grease coming, but as soon as I moved them up, this thing got very smooth. So, and also there was a trick for bending one of the retain the wheel retaining wire on the end. I did that, and that did seem to help. Basically, they would be like smooth as can be, but every now and then it was like the ball bearings would hit together. But I guess they do get stuck in one little spot if the spring is too tight. So they're not they weren't lube there was lube on the bearing but it was not anywhere in it was just like smeared on the end of the bearing not actually on the wheels so and i was more interested in design than making sure my bearings rolled perfect 
and I thought they would run good enough. So basically, I just kept working the tolerances on this better and better and better until I got the bearings, the bad bearings, almost to ride perfect. So, I mean, yeah, you put good bearings on this, and this thing is, uh, I got, I got a lot of work into this, a lot of time to get this just right, and it is just right. Um, so basically, yeah, put your rails on, use the tool to line them up, um, and then just basically put this on, and these don't have to be cranked down, like, this is under construction, but these don't have to be super cranked down. And if you do, you could put some stresses and loads. You could also sink the head into the plastic and uh, make it kind of so just kind of tight and uh, let them ride. But I mean, literally, you're not going to have any trouble out of this. The only trouble you're going to have is if you don't lube your bearings up, probably the best thing to do is get the. Uh, I think I paid 10 bucks. There's a link at the Thingiverse page for the lube. That works pretty good. Um, geez. As far as lining this thing up, there isn't. I mean, it lines its, it lines itself up. So there is no lining it up. Um, if you have the original bay for the uh, chain system, you'll have to either... Yeah, you're pretty much going to need to download it. It's not going to fit in there. Um, at all. I've already altered that and it's already available for download um, which is kind of risky because I didn't actually print it but it was pretty black and white about what needed to be done like right here I just needed to shrink this up and move the hole so that's pretty much what I did so yeah, probably a little arrogant uh, sure to go wrong uh, yeah dude this this was uh, printing pretty skookum even though my wheels the bearings weren't um, that good it was heavy when I went and when I did lube it up it, it got so much lighter so it was playing with a very heavy top um, all right so like I said most of the information is at Thingiverse uh, I can't really think of anything else to add other than um, enjoy see you